Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so we are having breakfast for dinner tonight. I forgot that I had had some um, half and half in my fridge that was going to go bad soon, so I wanted to use that. And so I had these biscuits in my refrigerator. I used those. I used Jimmy Dean hot sausage. And I actually did record a video a while ago on how I make my biscuits and gravy. It's so easy. You just need three ingredients to make it and um, it's absolutely delicious. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having pasta with um, Italian sausage and broccoli rabe. I attempted to make this the other week, but when um, I went to cook the sausage, it was bad. So we just had pasta and broccoli rabe. But I went to the store and got some more Italian sausage. And so this is what it's supposed to look like. It is so good, it's just a few ingredients. I will link the um, video that I included the recipe in in the description box. And then we are also having some garlic toast. This is my favorite garlic toast. It is from Tom Thumb, the five cheese. And I just popped it in the air fryer for us. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having Mexican food for dinner tonight. So let me show you what we're having. I had these two bags of beef fajita meat in the freezer. It's pre-cooked, so all you do is add it to a skillet. And so I also had in my freezer this three pepper and onion blend that I picked up from Aldi. So I took half the bag, um, put it in a skillet with some oil, seasoned it up, and then I added in the beef fajita meat and stir fried it. And then I also made um, some Texas style rice, queso rice. So I was gonna make my Mexican rice and this has been in my pantry for a while and I needed to use it so I decided to use that up. But if you like Mexican rice, I have a great recipe that I recorded a video for and I will link it in the description box. I also made a side of charro beans and then for the tortillas, I used these. Uh, they are ready to cook flour tortillas. I used them a long time ago and I recently bought them on a Walmart haul. I'll link that in the description box as well. But all you do is just fry them for about a minute um, in a skillet, um, ungreased skillet, and then they just puff right up like a regular tortilla. So this is Howard's plate. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know he likes tons of stuff on his tacos and everything in the taco. So he has the fajita meat, uh, beans, rice, cheese, avocado, sour cream, and salsa. There are his two tacos. And then this is my plate. Um, I like all my stuff separated. So I just have some beans, a little bit of rice because I'm trying not to eat a lot of rice. And then I also have my taco and I just have cheese and salsa. If I didn't mention, these um, beans came from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas, as did the rice. The rice I'm not crazy about. I probably would not buy it again. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up some stuff from my freezer and pantry. In my outdoor freezer, I have this chicken lo mein. It's from Aldi. I like it a lot, but it doesn't have a lot in the package. So to bulk it up just a little bit, I am going to add in these noodles that I had in my pantry. It's a six ounce package and it came with two little separate things of noodles. So I'm gonna use um, the last package of noodles that are in here. I'm gonna boil them up and then I'm going to add them to this chicken lo mein to stretch it out a little bit. If it's too dry, then I have this ginger noodle sauce that I picked up from Tuesday morning that I'm gonna add to it. Um, I don't think I have any vegetables to add to this lo mein. And then I'm also going to make some of these uh, mandu chicken dumplings. So I will show you how the stir fry turns out as soon as I'm finished. 
Okay, so here is our dinner. I pan fried the dumplings, so here they are. And here is the chicken lo mein. I did add in the extra noodles. And after I added them in, Howard and I decided that we really didn't need the extra sauce because it's saucy enough. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out a new recipe today. It is ground beef hash brown casserole. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but I started out cooking up some ground beef. This is two pounds of ground beef that I cooked and drained. To it, I added onion powder, garlic powder, and seasoned salt. And now I'm going to work on the hash brown mixture. Let me just move this out of the way. So I just have a bowl here, and then I have a bag of hash browns that I let completely thaw out. And I'm just going to drop it into my bowl. And next I'm going to add in a can of cream of chicken soup. And some melted butter, some milk, and I'm just gonna give this a good stir. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more seasoned salt to it. And at this point, you can add whatever seasonings you like. I just want a little salt. Normally, I would add black pepper. Howard's really not into black pepper. So I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic powder and a little bit more onion powder. And I'm going to add in half of my cheese. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside for a second. And I've got my nine by 13 pan here. And all I'm going to do is add in my ground beef and spread it out on the bottom of the pan. And I'm just going to add my hash brown mixture on top of that. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle the remaining cheese on top. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven. I don't remember if I mentioned my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop it in my oven. It says to cook it for about an hour and it doesn't say to cover it. So I guess I'm gonna leave it uncovered unless I see it's getting too brown. But I'll pop it in and then of course, I'll be back to show you how it turns out. Okay, so here is the hash brown casserole. I ended up baking it for an hour and I did leave it uncovered the whole time. So here is what the inside of it looks like and I've got it on our plate. Um, Howard and I tried it and it's really good. Um, it would actually, like if you wanted to make this more of a breakfast type meal, you could scramble some eggs to go with it as well. But I am serving mine with just some canned green beans that I had in the pantry, season them with garlic powder, onion powder, and seasoned salt. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.